Warning, right now might be your last chance to pick up a Silver Tempest booster box before it explodes in value. But for those of you like me who enjoy opening up booster packs, now may be your last chance to open up a Silver Tempest booster box at an affordable price. Let's talk about it, and of course we are going to be opening up our Silver Tempest booster box today. Let's get into it. Now I want to thank Whatnot for sponsoring today's video. In fact, I'm going to be doing a live stream on Whatnot this upcoming Tuesday evening, May the 21st. If you're not familiar, Whatnot is the app featuring live streamed auctions where you can bid on Pokemon cards and often get some pretty great deals. And so I'm hoping you guys will be able to get some deals during that stream because I'm actually going to be doing $1 auctions. So make sure you come over and get some singles. Use my link in the description below to bookmark the stream so you don't miss it. And if you haven't signed up yet, you you can actually get a $15 credit for signing up to whatnot. Again, use my link below. But like I said, guys, this will likely be my last time opening up a booster box for this set. And that's only because I expect that the price for this box is going to be out of reach uh, not too long after this. We will see, of course. Now the reason that I think that is really just because of what we've seen for a lot of the other Sword and Shield, uh, I guess the latter Sword and Shield sets, especially the ones that contain a uh, trainer gallery like this set does. Alright guys, we got a fire energy, let's go ahead and pull the fire, again we are chasing that Lugia today, so let's see what we got in our first pack, Mischievous, Whalmer. We got that first pack magic, nothing in the trainer gallery, but we do have a, a Mawile V. You guys may know that in the last few months, uh, many of the Ladder Sword and Shield sets have gone up in value, especially the ones that contain alt arts. And so, you know, we saw a big spike for Chilling Rain and also Fusion Strike. Uh, but not only that, but even some of the ladder sets, some of the sets that are actually still even in rotation, like Brilliant Stars, Lost Origin, Astral Radiance, all of these have actually gone up in value as well. Right now, Lost Origin is sitting at about $220. I believe uh, Brilliant Stars is, I think, around $180, $185, and then uh, you have Astral Radiance at $175. So yeah, guys, quite a bit of a jump from what they were at for a long time, and definitely a big jump from even MSRP. Here we go, Relicanth, Halucha, Amolga, Reverse, and we got the Lugia V-Star, not bad. Hopefully we can get the Lugia Alt Art today, that would be the dream. Now the reason these sets have gone up in value so drastically really comes down to the fact that they actually recently went out of stock on the Pokemon Center website. And I think for a lot of people this kind of um, kind of gives sort of the, whether or not it's true or not, it gives them the illusion that this, uh, this set is going to be harder to get moving forward. And I think there's some truth to that because oftentimes the Pokemon Center is the last place for it to go out of stock at MSRP. And, uh, you know, for your local LGSs, they mostly, like, don't have them. They're probably not available readily at a distributor, which I know is the case for a lot of these Ladder Sword Shield sets. I don't believe uh, distributors have these in stock any longer. Let's see what we got. Dedenne and Arcanine non Hollow Rare. But if you kind of pay attention over time on TCG Player, you'll see that the prices for these sets, they start to slowly climb, you know, above their lower points, you know, $100, $120. And oftentimes they kind of hit a little bit of a ceiling for a while at that MSRP uh, price, which tends to be around $140, $145. And that is because that is the MSRP that the Pokemon Center website charges. And so as long as there's still stock on the Pokemon Center website, uh, usually you won't see the price go up any higher than that just because people, at least people who check, they know that they can still get it from there for a better price. So yeah, guys, that definitely keeps things, keeps the price down for a while. But as soon as it goes out of stock on the Pokemon Center website, that's when we start to see things spike pretty drast drastically. It's almost like it uh, unleashes the floodgates for that box, which is already popular enough to get to that point to uh, continue rising from there. So guys, that's exactly what has been happening with these Ladder Sword and Shield sets. I believe it might have happened first with... Um, 
I want to say maybe Lost Origin. Uh, don't quote me on that. But then I think shortly after it happened with Astral Radiance. And then it happened, uh, I think, Brilliant Stars within the last week. So all these sets that, again, they contain alt arts, but they also contain a trainer gallery. Super popular sets. Um, they are starting to rise because they've gone out of stock on the Pokemon Center website. Nice. Ho-Oh V. I really like this artwork a lot. It's a Akira Igawa artwork there. So the thing about Silver Tempest is it's really the last set to... Uh, to still be in stock from Sword and Shield, other than the specialty sets, um, and I'm talking about the booster boxes specifically, is the last booster box to still be in stock on the Pokemon Center website from main Sword and Shield. But guys, I suspect that it's not going to be too much longer, and so that's kind of why I titled this video what it is, and uh, full disclosure, I bought two boxes literally from the Pokemon Center website because I couldn't find a better price anywhere else. I got one that I think I'm probably going to hold for however long and uh, we'll just see what happens with it. But then I feel like, you know, while we can, let's go ahead and open up one more Silver Tempest booster box. All right, nice. We finally got a trainer gallery car. We got the Rock Rough with the snutty nose and we got Frostless non-hollow rare. Now I think it is definitely interesting which of these sets have kind of risen to different prices at different times um, because I definitely would have expected certain ones to, to go out of stock a lot sooner and rise in price earlier like Brilliant Stars. I thought that that would have gone out of stock a lot longer ago but it only happened just recently so anyway. But I think one that surprised a lot of people was the Astral Radiance booster box. And it's kind of interesting, I was actually on my buddy's podcast recently, and somebody posed this question, you know, which was a better buy? They listed out a, a couple of them. And uh, two of the options were Silver Tempest and, uh, and Astral Radiance. And uh, me and my friend Kevin, I think we both agreed that Silver Tempest would be a good buy. But I also mentioned on there that I thought that Astral Radiance may actually see increases in price sooner than Silver Tempest. And the reason that I said that is actually because, what I, from what I remember, I believe that uh, Astral Radiance didn't really get a major reprint, whereas some of these other sets like Silver Tempest and Lost Origin, they actually did get a pretty sizable reprint. Uh, I can't remember exactly when the date was for that. I want to say maybe six months ago or something like that. But anyway, they did actually get a reprint. And, uh, you know, that means that there's more supply on the marketplace. It's a little easier to get. And so for that reason, uh, I actually remember that Astral really never got that same uh, reprint at that time. I think uh, for a lot of people, even though I think it's a good set, I think it wasn't their favorite set in comparison to Brilliant Stars, you know, other ones like Evolving Skies. I think, uh, yeah, it didn't, I think because of that, I think Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Company saw that there wasn't quite as much demand for it and so I, I think that's the reason they didn't reprint it whereas they saw that you know people love chasing the Lugia they love chasing the Giratina the, the Aerodactyl from Lost Origin um, and so they did reprint those and so even though these uh, technically have more demand for it Silver Tempest and Lost Origin um, Astral Radiance was a, a set that actually I think uh, went up in price and actually went out of stock even sooner I think just because of the slightly more limited supply but all that to say um, there I think uh, is still a lot more demand for Silver Tempest than Astral Radiance and so even though there's you know more supply out there I don't feel like this is going to trail too much far behind uh, Astral Radiance and Lost Origin as far as going out of stock. I really think it's probably going to happen pretty soon. I was honestly even nervous to make this video uh, with the title that I did because I thought for all I know it could go out of stock before the box even arrives at my doorstep. So yeah guys, I'm not necessarily here to pump this set. I'm just trying to give you guys maybe a heads up of something you could look at. Now just to give kind of the devil's advocate response as well, um, there still is a chance that they could re reprint all of these sets. Again, if I were the Pokemon company, you know, first of all, these sets, I, from what I understand, I think all these sets, including Brilliant Stars, are still in rotation. I think I was, um, 
I think Fusion Strike and the sets before that actually went out of rotation not too long ago. So correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I'm pretty sure Silver Tempest, Lost Origin, Brilliant Stars, Astral, I think they are all still in rotation. And when that's the case, uh, we're talking about the game here, you know, the cards are inside are still playable. When that's the case, um, it's really fair game for the Pokemon Company to reprint it because they may see that players still need more of the cards. Then again, most of these cards got alternate versions in sets like uh, Crown Zenith, so maybe they don't see the need to reprint them for that reason. So the, I guess the way that I see it is I think it's very unlikely that they're going to reprint these sets at this point. Oh nice, the Radiant Alakazam, I love that one. That's a really, really cool one. Super underrated, super cheap card, but I think, it, I think it deserves to be more. And then we got Del Fox. Yep, so that's just one thing to keep in mind. You know, this set even is not even two years old yet. It came out towards the end of, I believe, 2022, if I'm not mistaken. It's hard for me to keep track of the years, but yeah, it was, um, yeah, it came out before Crown Zenith. But uh, yeah, so just keep that in mind. There's, it's still fair game for us to see this set uh, even back on stock on the Pokemon Center websites. It's possible for us to see that for all the other sets I just mentioned as well. I think it's very, very unlikely now to see a reprint for Chilling Rain, Evolving Skies, and Fusion Strike. But I would not be surprised I, I probably even, <laughs> I'm, I'm probably contradicting myself. What I'm saying is I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a restock of these sets on the Pokemon Center website, the, you know, the ladder, sword, and shield ones. But I also wouldn't be surprised if we don't. So just trying to give you guys both sides of the coin here. Again, either way, it's still probably a good buy because I feel like this box will eventually be over $200 at some point. So even if you pick it up now, and it goes down to 140, 130, you know it uh, it may even go down lower if it got a reprint, maybe down to 100 dollars. So even if that happens, you know it might just take longer for the box to rise in price. Now, obviously, if you intended to open it, then yeah, I would agree that <laughs> it would have been better to wait, maybe. But guys, I'm just not sure. I'm not too confident that we're gonna see this box for those low prices ever again. But for me, I figured it seems like a good time to go ahead and pick one up to open. I figured you know, it's fun to, to chase the, the, those alt art cards, especially now that they're so incredibly expensive. And I do happen to like the Lugia alt art from this set. Not, not my favorite, favorite alt art of all time, but it's still one that I do like. And uh, so figured this might be our last chance to try and pull it. You know, we'll probably see Silver Tempest in different ancillary products, but you know, those uh, those products can be so hit and miss with the hits. So at least with the booster boxes, you're usually gonna get a decent amount of hits. Well, real quick guys, if you're enjoying the content so far, do me a favor and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button below to come along the collecting journey with me. I really would appreciate it. And also I wanna take a second to let you know about my sketch artwork. I actually have an Instagram account called at Legend of Luke Art where I post these, but I've been doing some Pokemon sketch cards recently. These are basically one of a kind sketch cards that you can see in the back. So, you know, I end up signing these if I, uh, end up distributing it to anybody. So this is my most recent one. We have the Captain Pikachu, which is kind of uh, featured in the uh, Pokemon Horizons, but I kind of wanted to do my own rendition of it. I really like how this one turned out. I like, uh, I tried to go for a little bit older style version of Pikachu with this, but still giving it my own little flair. So yeah, guys, if you have any questions about my sketch cards, you can uh, reach out on my Instagram there. And would you do me a favor and find the uh, find the post where I had posted about the Captain Pikachu and comment below what I should sketch next. What Pokemon should I do on my next sketch card? Would really appreciate it. Let's keep getting into our packs here. Have a code card. We got the punching. 
Snorunt, Sandile, Fennekin. Ooh, we got the Melotic character rare. Very beautiful there. Very cool artwork on that one. I like that one. And underneath there, we do have a double hit, the Superior V. One, two, three, four. Right, four? Nope. Yep, there we go. It's Electric, Boogie Woogie Woogie. Lance, Fletchender, Clang, Baltoy, Sunkern, Vampy, Indeedy, Marini, Jinx Reverse, and we got the non holo Cobalion. All right, guys, well, I think it's that time. It is time for a Mega Stack, the part of the show where we open up a bunch of packs, we pull out the hits, and then we unveil them all at once. It's a, a good time. All right, we got 10 packs here, so 10 potential hits. So let's go ahead and get things set up. We're gonna open it up, show you that. One, two, three, four, to the front. And then our two hits should be here and here. Double check, make sure we did it right. And we do it all over again. Boom, boom, two, a bunch of times and there we go oh well, there we go guys could an alt art be here and this mega stack let's find out one two three oh and we got a full art we got the hisuian arcanine v that was kind of cool i do like the hisuian arcanine design all right we got metang Reverse, Reverse Sunflora, Frostlass, Esper Reverse, Zygarde, that's a non hollow rare, Snorunt, Verizian, Reverse Breaks In, Braviary, just a rare. Alright, we gotta get something here. What do we got? Oh, okay, we got Professor Burnett. So we got a full art trainer, that's not bad. So we got two full arts in this box. That's uh, not terrible. Although this is a trainer gallery one, so that makes sense. Forgot about those, so you can get the few of these in the trainer gallery. All right, next up. Oh, nice, we got the Hollow Dragonite. I forgot that was in this set. This is a really cool one, I like this one. All right. Really can't. We got Lily Gant, Reverse Beldum. Oh, we got a Hollow Articuno. That one's pretty cool too. I don't remember ever pulling this one. It's a nice artwork. I like that. We got Reverse Sandy Gas. Oh, all right, all right, we got an alt art. We got the Skun Tank alt art. Oh man, not the one that we wanted, but all right, not bad. At least we got one, we'll, we'll take it. I have no idea what this is worth now, probably hardly anything, but you never know. So many of them have been going up. All right, we got the Skun Tank alt. That's pretty wild. And Marini, Talonflame, Okay, Radiant Jirachi, that's pretty. And Armaldo. All right, guys, well, I think that might have been our box hit. So, uh, yeah, I guess uh, slightly disappointed that's not the Lugia, but we all knew the chances were very slim. We got some pretty good stuff from our Mega Stack, though. Let's take a second and get organized here. All right, we still got several packs left. I think we stu still could get another trainer gallery or two from here, so let's get it. We got Phoebus, Litten, and Miss Magius. Let's breeze through a couple of these. Might have something here. What do we got? Well, that's a code card on the back, so nothing. Nope. Keldeo. Got anything? Incineroar. We 
we got we got a trainer gallery we got breaks in and a non hollow melotic reverse hollow terrakion and we got it's nothing all right and just three packs to end things off we'll save our lugia pack for last you never know there's always that chance that slim chance could there be another alt art another secret rare in here i don't know have that boom it's electric Two sand dial and a moongus. Well, well we, we've had a decent amount of hits. I'm actually surprised about how few just regular V's we've gotten this time. Maybe we have another one or two to come. But we did get two full arts and a V star. I guess the V star is kind of the same, along the same lines as the V, if I had to guess. Got the leaf, Jinx, Brandon. Altaria, Stunfisk, Togunamaro, Esper, Smeargle, Litten, Venomoth, and a Hollow Crobat. Alright guys, well this has been fun. I hope it was somewhat informative. Let me know in the comments below. But we are on to our last pack. Let's get that last pack Lugia magic. One, two, three, four. And we got the V Star Token, Hypno, Archon, Serena Williams, Dratini, Clink, Stunfisk, Togunamaro, Esper, Wallace, nothing in the trainer gallery slot. And guys, today we're ending off with a non holo Fione. Check out one of the videos here on screen next. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe below to support the channel. And lastly, I want to let you guys know that no matter what you're going through, you are not alone. God is with you and he loves you and we do too. I'll catch you guys next time.